What up guys and girls, it's your boy Pete, back here coming from another video, and today we're going to be talking about the AP Biology exam. So I took the AP Bio exam my junior year of high school, which was a long time ago. So yeah, we're going to be just discussing like how I got a 5 on it, so because you know that's kind of the title of the video, so yeah, let's get right into it, how about it? First things first, let's talk about the exam format. So the AP Biology exam, when I took the exam, is actually going to be different from the exam that you guys will be taking when this video gets released in 2020. So this is a good time to stress that exam formats change every so often. So every few years, college boards can be like, let's change it up because, you know, got to keep the students guessing, you know. But yeah, basically, they took away a lot of the Gridden questions. They had like four Gridden questions when I did it. So now they took that away. There's still math though, so be prepared for that. But just make sure you check College Board's website for any changes and just be familiar with the format so they don't surprise you. And yeah, you know all the different question types that they're gonna ask you, so yeah. Make sure you check the Holy Acorns website for those great information. Let's move on. So now we're gonna talk about prep books. So basically, I did not buy a prep book, and that's about it, so the end. Just kidding. Well, I did not buy a prep book, but basically, what happened is my AP Bio teacher is a pretty good teacher, has been teaching the class for like a long time, so he knows pretty much everything that's going to be on the exam, he knew how to prepare us very well for the exam, and we took a practice exam, and I did really well on that, so I just thought I did not need to spend 15 bucks on an AP Bio review book, but from looking around online, I think the Baron's step, uh, review book is going to be better, slightly better than the Princeton review, but obviously do your own research on that. It's your money that you're going to be spending on it, so I just don't want to give you guys wrong information because I did not buy, purchase a review book. So I think Baron's would be better, but Princeton review could be good. I don't know. There are some reasons, like obviously I didn't buy a prep book, but there are some situations in which you should probably buy a review book. So if you feel like your teacher has not prepared you that well, like if your teacher is notorious for like not teaching well or something, then you should probably buy a review book. If like you feel just feel that you need more practice questions and you're you just are unsure of some types of multiple choice questions that they ask, buy you should buy a review book. And then also, if you need a handy book with some quality content review, just right before the exam to just go go through because like the review books tend to be more concise than say a textbook. So if you need that, then you should buy a book. And also, if you just like buying books and you know filling up your shelves and wait killing trees and you know to freaking buy a review book as well, but I mean, you're a loser if you're killing trees. I'm just kidding, no. If you need to buy a review book, buy a review book. I'm not guilt tripping you to not buying books. Save the trees, just kidding, okay. Let's move on. So now we're gonna talk about uh, some content tips and not all the content because AP Biology is super broad and yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes into the exam. That's why it's such a hard exam, but we're just going to talk about some of the content tips that I have for you guys. So AP Biology, like many of the other AP Sciences, has moved more towards the conceptual and more application-based questions rather than straight memorization questions. So what I'm saying is there isn't as much memorization as you would think in like a traditional biology course, but there is still some memorization, so be prepared for that. So for example, like when talking about some of the big processes, like energetic processes like glycolysis or respiration or photosynthesis. You don't need to know all the itty bitty enzymes involved, like maybe like a few enzymes is good to know just in general, but you don't need to know all the, every single enzyme in glycolysis, otherwise like that would suck, like there's so many freaking stuff, to, yeah that would be bad, but you do need to know like some of the big ideas behind those processes, like in some of the terms behind those processes, like I would know for glycolysis, photosynthesis, and respiration, I would know like what chlorophyll is and how it plays a role in photosynthesis. Photosystem one and two are also important. And then ATP synthase is probably like the big enzyme that you guys need to know and you're gonna, gonna need to know for the AP bio exam. And with regards to like glycolysis specifically, I would know pyruvate, just that's just like a big intermediate within the glycolysis or it's actually product, but like 
within glycolysis, pyruvate is probably pretty, pretty important to know. But there's so many more intermediates that you could know, intermediates that you could know, but you don't need to know all of that because otherwise, yeah, you'd actually go jump off a cliff and that would suck. But okay, you also should know the energy carriers like NADH, NAD, pH, uh, and then FADH2. Those are like, don't just know them, but know how they fit within the processes of glycolysis, respiration, photosynthesis. So what I'm getting at for this example is basically know the big ideas behind processes. They're gonna test you more on the big ideas, but they may also test you on just a few of the details and how those details fit into the big picture and big idea of whatever we're talking about. So yeah, let's move on. So now we're going to talk about a few study tips that I utilized when preparing for the AP Bio exam and that I think you should also utilize. So first things first, you want to be able to write and explain concepts to others. So on the FRQs, you're going to be basically answering a question and writing it out and explaining it. And then basically your, your test is going to get shipped, a grader is going to read, be reading hundreds of these things, and they're going to read yours and they're going to be like, do I, does this kid know what he's talking about? And then they're going to grade you. But so basically, one way to practice so you don't like screw this up is be able to write stuff down and answer questions and explain it well maybe to a friend maybe just to yourself and just write it out and see if it makes sense but basically be able to convey what you know to others so that's important like tip of life i guess you could say being able to explain and communicate with others but specifically for the ap bio exam be able to explain biological concepts pretty well and yeah practice it write it down teach it to another person that's tip number one tip number two is to pay attention in your laboratory lab in your labs so basically AP bio has like big labs a lot of AP sciences have required big labs that you're supposed to go over in class so really pay attention to them and understand what's going on and that'll help for a lot of the application based questions on the AP bio exam but with that said one big problem with AP is that like some uh, schools in like low income areas, a lot of them, they can't afford the funds to get like equipment for labs. So if you can't, like if your school doesn't go over the labs, but like you're taking AP class or you're taking the exam, try and look up the labs. Like College Board lists out like they have a detailed uh, document with like every, all the labs that you're supposed to do in your AP bio class. So look over that document on their website and maybe look up some online YouTube demonstration videos of like those labs and those processes. and that can really help you and supplement your learning and like help you be able to apply the concepts better on the actual exam. So pay attention to your labs, look them up if you need to. And yeah, that's tip number two. Let's move on. So along with being able to explain biological concepts well and write them down well, there's some other skills that are involved with the AP bio exam. So you have to be able to interpret visual representations of biological concepts as well. So basically what that means is you have to be able to make graphs, interpret them, interpret flow charts and other diagrams and stuff. Basically be familiar with graphs and how to read them. And also like, it's kind of like the ACT science section if you think about it in a little bit of a way if you want to compare, but you need to be able to just understand basic graphs and what they mean. And also there is some math involved. So your math skills have to be there. They don't have to be amazing. Like it's not calculus, but it's just basic math skills like mean, ratios, percentages, confidence intervals, chi-square hypothesis testing. Those last two are kind of like the more difficult, I would say, but you need to be able to do that. It's not like terribly difficult, but if you don't know what you're doing, then you don't know what you're doing, you're failing. But yeah, be, just be prepared for those kind of skills that you wouldn't expect on a biology exam. So yeah, let's move on. So now we're gonna talk about uh, few of the resources that you can use to study for the exam. These are online resources. So first thing I'm going to tell is Crash Course. So Crash Course is really good for the big picture stuff of biology. Not really for the details as much, but definitely if you're trying to, if you're struggling with like the big idea, I would watch like a 10 minute Crash Course video, like really good at explaining it and cool animations, you know, whatever. Yeah, big idea stuff. But also, if you want more help with the details, I would recommend Khan Academy. Like everyone knows Khan Academy. It's like every, pretty much every subject, Khan Academy is going to have something on it. But also, Bozeman Science is good. Like the man Bozeman, he can put you to sleep, but he knows what he's talking about. So, yeah, watch a few Bozeman videos to get like your biology knowledge. 
uh, all up to uh, date for the exam. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just, you know, leave a comment. Please feel free to like the video, dislike the video, you know, subscribe, unsubscribe, whatever you want to do with your life, you do it. So, yeah, enough of me talking. Ask those questions, and good luck on the APs. See you guys next time.